Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to another recommendations video. And today we're doing a video that I've been working on for a while. Um, there were some things that happened back in June of this year that actually made me push this video back because I was not in the right headspace to bring this video to you in a happy mood and I want to be happy about it because I love the topic that we're talking about despite what may have been said about me by some people okay okay do we know what I'm talking about maybe maybe not it's alright if you don't and I'm going to go through these 16 different wrecks that I have going back about a year that have all different kinds of racial diversity and they're all books that I I'm excited to be sharing. So they all have three and a half to six stars, some of these, okay? So we're gonna go through those. Again, I won't be talking too much about each one, but I hope that you'll give these a try. I have some across like every genre, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so any kind of books you love to read, if you're looking to diversify and try reading from either a different point of view or try adding that into your reading, you can do that. And if that's like not what your purpose is, I still stand by every one of these recommendations. So you can just take them as books that I'm recommending to you. Either way you want to take it, it works, okay? Um, also, just one caveat, I'm not saying that necessarily these are owned voices diversity, so keep that in mind, but I do know that the ones that aren't owned voices, they did have sensitivity readers, so take that for what you will, but I'm sharing books with diverse characters, not necessarily diverse authors, just putting that out there. Okay, do we have enough caveats? Let's get into these wrecks because the first one we're starting with is such a fun one to start with and maybe won't be what you think it is. I'm recommending first Blue Coral by Naomi Lucas. This is book three in the Naga's Bride series and the heroine in this book is black. Um, we wouldn't call her African American in this one because America doesn't exist in this world. This, like I said, book three in the Naga Brides and our heroine is one of the scientists who gets, um, in the beginning of this one, she gets stuck in a sticky situation. Um, she's going to die. She's going to be crushed. And our hero in this one is, what's his name? We got to know what his name is. Sorry. Shelby is our heroine. And the hero in this one, what's his name? What's his name? Is Vagan. It's Vagan. And he slithers his way in there and literally holds up a building to prevent her from being crushed. So, like, she's literally, like, getting crushed and he's, like, holding the building up with his body while he's, like, doing a push-up over her. It's amazing. Um, and he knows that she's his mate. That happens in these. You put off pheromones that your mate smells and it's amazing. There are so many absolutely tender, beautiful things in this. So Shelby, she actually has dreads and Blue Coral, he's a water serpent. And so they get stuck, you know, once he saves her, they are like stuck in underground in this place and he, it, he doesn't have water. And she happened to have gotten like wet before she got stuck. And so he like, he literally like sucks the water out of her dreads and <laughs> it is one of the most erotic things that I've ever read. I loved it. And I love this series. The fourth book in this series is coming out very soon and I can't wait to continue it. I loved these snake aliens. Um, they're fantastic. This whole series is, they are very possessive aliens too, which is something that I like. Um, so anyway, this is my first recommendation. Like I said, our heroine is black in this one and our hero is a snake. So there's that. <laughs> Then I have a historical. This one, Scandalous by Minerva Spencer, is actually book three in a series that I talk about all the time, but I don't necessarily talk about this one all the time. But Scandalous is about, um, what's her name? Her name is Sarah Fisher, and she was a missionary for a lot of her life. And we have Captain Martin Bouchard, who is a freed slave and now runs his own ship. And she needs to be transported from one place to the other. And she's on his ship and they're extremely attracted to each other. And he and her are like so infuriated with each other. This is definitely like an enemies to lovers um, because she thinks he's uncouth and just 
so like crude and he's doing it on purpose because he knows how to be better than this is part of the thing but he likes messing with her and yeah their chemistry is just amazing so this one gets overlooked a little by me because I love Dangerous so much and since it's the first in the series I'm always pushing it but this one was also great there's an audiobook for this one and I think Minerva Spencer did a great job with this one also I like because Martin he has a lot of character growth to go he definitely feels like a very selfish cruel man but that's a lot of the hands that he'd been dealt in his life. So now that he is a captain and he's in charge, he expects people to bend to his will because he's like, you know what? I'm the fucking captain. You're going to do what I want. And Sarah is like, hold up, hold up, wait a minute type of thing. So absolutely love this. Then we are changing it up. We have Josh from Twisted Hate by Hannah Wong. So Josh is Asian and he's a doctor and he's very sexy and this is a sister's be so best friend's brother we have um sorry what's her name Jules and Josh and Jules hate each other supposedly and they end up though she has an internship I believe she's going to be a lawyer and she ends up with uh, in like an internship at the hospital where he is working his residency and so they end up having to see each other all the time and their attraction really like boils over and I have to say that this is the only book in the series that I own both the discrete cover or the alternate cover because I own the alternate covers in the whole series but I wanted this one and it was actually gifted to me by Brie because I just there's so few Asian heroes on the cover of books and I just I love this so actually Ava in the first book Twisted Lies she's Josh's sister she's also Asian too so beautiful then we have another Asian couple and we have The Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan this book is very much unlike other Courtney Milans you've read. If you recently did Rake Appreciation Society with us and you read Proof by Seduction, number one, if you didn't love that book, I promise this book is nothing like it. This book is so far from angsty. It's just an adorable friends to lovers. It's actually an older heroine and a virgin hero who's hiding that he's a duke because he doesn't want to like scare her away or have her treat him any differently. And her name is Chloe and his name is Jeremy. And the thing is, is he's very well known because he's the only, I think he's Chinese or half Chinese. It's like, he's the only Asian Duke that there is. And so he thinks he's being super covert, but like a lot of people know who he is. Um, but yeah, he, he has been trying to um, get Chloe to love him, but she's been, you know, too busy with her life and her father's life to give him the time of day, but she does like him. And yeah. This is his like final push to get her to fall for him. Um, he also knows that he would be asking a lot of her to become his duchess. Um, and he's just hoping that he's worth it for her to step into that role with him. And I absolutely loved this. And look at this cover. It's so beautiful. I wish Courtney Milan would add on to this series so badly. This is the last thing that she had put out. And we're supposed to get more in this series and we just haven't. And it kind of breaks my heart because it's called The Wedgeford Trials and we haven't gotten any more and it makes me sad, but love this book. <sighs> All right, then of course, I have to share some Beverly Jenkins, okay? She belongs in here if we're talking about diverse reads, okay? She just absolutely does. So recently I read um, Topaz for Rake Appreciation Society. I think though, I think it was back in April or May. It was a little bit ago, um, but we read Topaz, which is kind of a like forced marriage where the heroine is a newspaper gal and she gets herself in a tight spot. And so she gets married off to this lawman who, because her father gets himself in trouble, she needs to do this marriage or else her father will go to jail. So she does. Um, and she moves with this man to where he is and they fall in love and then my very favorite Beverly Jenkins and I think a lot of people's favorite is of course Indigo and this is about a woman named Hester 
who escaped slavery and now she runs she runs a chapter of the Underground Railroad and she meets Black Daniel whose name is Gowan and she cares for him after he gets injured when things go badly in a train stop one night and so she helps heal him and he and her have this amazing relationship he falls head over heels for her and he goes about wooing her even though she's like I just want my simple life I just want to work for the Underground Railroad and take care of my life I don't want to be swept up in anything and Gallon says bet I'm gonna make you mine and it is amazing and Beverly Jenkins is able to so beautifully fit in both the devastating history and the pain that was happening during these times as well as give you such a hopeful beautiful romantic romance <sighs> nobody can do it like Miss Bev nobody can it's fantastic all right, moving right along, I have another black love romance, and this one is spicy. Okay, this one's spicy. And that is Pensive by Trevina Terry. So this book was one I can't even remember. Oh, yes, this was a viewer recommendation to me because it involves it's an assassin and a writer. It's very interesting. So our heroine, she's going to this, like, writing convention, and our hero... He happens to be stopping through the same hotel that she's staying at for this like convention or, or whatever she's doing and he's an assassin and he sees her and he wants her and so he's like let's have a affair while you're here um, and then I'll let you go at the end of it there can't be anything more don't you dare want anything more and so after they have this very intense hot few days together um, involving some kinkiness yes we do He's the one who's like, I, I need her. And so he goes about getting her back and it's great. This one is darker themes, so know that, but oh boy, was this hero, <laughs> this was spicy. This was an excellent time. Definitely check that out. Next we have actually a Indian hero and that is Devraj from Don't Hex and Drive. And he is a vampire and a Bollywood star. So there's a beautiful picture. This is the art that I have for this. This is Devraj, um, and he is a very old vampire who hits Isadora with his car when she's riding her bike at night with no lights. He hits her and then feels absolutely horrible. And it turns out she's actually his like neighbor now, and he is just absolutely drawn to her, and she just wants nothing to do with this hot intimidating vampire she wants nothing to do with him but will she be able to stay away from this sexy man i don't think so okay i don't think so and absolutely love this if you loved bollywood movies or know anything about them juliet really did her research for this and these were so much fun and i mean the art you guys it's beautiful so this is a really beautiful story i love this couple oh which one's next okay then we have a couple books I read because I had never seen this like matchup before and so I actually found a couple books that had it. So Bad for the Boss by Talia Hibbert. This is a black woman Asian man romance, okay? This is also a boss. This is also an age gap. There's also some kinkiness in here. Um, like I said, I'm not, well, I haven't said, but when I talked about this book before, this isn't like my most highest rated romance ever, but I liked all the diversity going on. Also, the heroine is plus size and the hero is so hot for it. And one of the things I love that Talia Hibbert does is, you know, if we're big girls, we know the words that are used to describe a big girl to be kind of tame and unoffensive, you know? they're like she was plush or her pillowy hips or her fleshy middle like no no tell you hibbert when this woman is riding his dick in his lap he smacks her fat ass it says that and i was like yeah just call it what it is it's her fat ass and he likes her fat ass okay he does all right all right i know not everyone wants to read that so maybe that's a trigger for you but the way it's written in here it was so hot and i could just mm, I was like, I want my hot boss to uh, do that to me too. So anyway, there, there are some very dark themes in this one. 
though because our heroine has a stalker who's not the hero it's not the fun kind of stalking um and yeah she's also his employee and her name is jennifer johnson so i did also like that he called her jenny <laughs> and jen so yeah this was hot all right even though it's extremely inappropriate just know that like he starts hitting on her like the first time she comes in his office but i loved this matchup um love that then the next one I read when I decided to look up this kind of pairing right is I read Redemption by Kenya Wright and so this one's also a black woman Asian man and this book was so great I highly recommend that you get the audiobook to go along with this ebook I actually got this book just as the audio to start with because it was part of the sale that Audible was doing where buy two or buy one get one half off or two for one with a credit sorry that's what it was and I saw this cover and I was like whoa I want to read that um and then when I was listening to it I was like oh, I want to read along with it and I'm so glad I did y'all because there was illustrations okay there was smutty illustrations in this book and they were not censored all right. When we got to the end of this book, there was full pictures. Okay. I don't know what else to say. There was dirty pictures in this book and it made the experience amazing. Okay. This one was a slow burn though, because this one does have dark themes as well. Our hero is actually an ex mafia assassin. He used to be an assassin for the mafia. They tried to give him a job <clears throat> where he was supposed to, um, kill this guy's family and he didn't do that he's like i don't kill families and so they killed his wife and son they killed them so he's been living <clears throat> in this uh it almost was like a restaurant or something he's he's living in this home like on a hill with just him and his dogs he has two huskies that are called salt and peppa okay yes that's his dog's names and he lives there alone and our heroine she is running from her husband for the last few years she's been running for her husband and the prologue of this book is her husband finding them and trying to rape and beat her in front of their children and so she's able to like uh stab him or shoot him and get away and their car goes off the road at the end of the hero's driveway and so he lets them stay with him for the night and then he actually invites them to stay with him uh, for a while because he has a like guest house behind his home. And so this is a slow burn between these two and it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. And it is a slow burn, but once it gets going, like I said, there are dirty pictures in this book and it was fantastic. All right, then we of course have QB Tyler pretty much all of her books are diverse they pretty much all are this was one i just read for the romance takeover readathon and this is a taboo this is a stepbrother not a stepbrother an adopted brother romance he's i think 11 years older than her and they live in the same city and they're both really hot for each other this used to be a novella and you can kind of tell because things get started pretty much immediately with them because she's staying at his house like her school is over um, and they're going to go back to their parents house for um, Christmas and things like literally spill over and they start banging and right from the beginning he's like if we do this like you're mine and our family's just going to have to deal with it <laughs> so it's naughty you know it's naughty it was spicy and it was a good time but Again, I've read a few of her other books. They are all um, diverse couples, so it's a good time. Then I also have um, Harbor by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This one is an MMF, and I believe, I don't think, I think, okay, I think one of the heroes is black, and then the heroine is black in this one. But this is an MMF, and these three find each other when the heroine's partner her fiance was found dead with their wife or girlfriend again i can't remember if they're married or not but they were in a polyamorous relationship 
with this woman and she was cheating with this girl's husband or boyfriend and so they meet each other at the funeral and find out that they were like the other people of the other people and they're really interested in her actually in being there for her and talking to her and she's like that's too weird for me right now not because there's two of them but because like the man she was expecting to be with forever was cheating and this is how we've met but yeah this one is great they're mm, yeah this one's just great there's nothing else to say i love rebecca weatherspoon and the spice and the angst that she puts into it and there's always bdsm involved and it's fantastic so i loved it then i want to mention a book that i just read by one of my favorite authors it's not out yet i'm sorry but if i was going to talk about kennedy ryan i had to talk about the book i just read so i just read before i let go this is a black love romance i believe now i'm second guessing myself based on the hero but either way it's a diverse read because it's kennedy ryan and this couple is a divorced couple they um share custody of their children and the reason that they broke up was very painful so check the trigger warnings for this but they just can't get over the, per the other person and some things happen that lead them to maybe try again and it was very emotional and beautiful because it's kennedy ryan and any of her books that you read are going to give you that but this book doesn't come out till november so maybe start with maybe start with flow and grip okay and then the last books that I want to mention that have a diverse couple in them is The Divine Between. Um, and this is by Jess Wise Cup. Very excited about these books. It starts with Between Wrath and Mercy. And then the book that just came out this week is Between Despair and Hope. And our hero in these is Black. And um, also his sister becomes a important character in this book. And yeah, this is a second chance romance as well that the second chance comes like 15 years later our heroine has a daughter and her daughter gets taken and so she goes to her ex fling her, her love and asks for his help because he's a prince of the land and he of course is willing to do anything for her even though they are like torturing other each other to be around each other this much so yeah this couple's beautiful. I'll show you some art. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I love this couple so much. Also, the heroine is a mother and she's plus size and her body shows that she is. And I just love it. I think this series is done so well and I can't wait for more and more people to find it. Um, and I can't, I'm just, I'm thrilled. I love it. And Jess will actually be on my channel on September 3rd. I don't know when this video is going up. Maybe you've already seen that interview but I'm very excited to talk to her more about this so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much to the uh, viewer who suggested this I now have a video rec form so if you have ideas for you know recommendation videos or tropes or anything like that you can check that out and recommend something to me so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found some recommendations you're interested in trying and yeah there are so many ways to read diversely and I hope that I've you know given you some you're interested in and I look forward to finding more and more I mean there's so many so many great authors out there that I just can't wait to discover and dive into so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye